Hi, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be talking about the forgotten name. And there are many definitions over the course of our history uh, since the Depression about who is the forgotten man. But today we're going to be talking about the forgotten man as he exists today in America. By the way, uh, the great book, The Forgotten Man, written by Amity Schles, a new look at the Depression and FDR and how he handled it, etc. It's a must read for American patriots. But the forgotten man today, in my opinion, is the, the average American, the middle class, the ones who are the, go to work every day, the ones who don't see themselves as victims, but participants as producers. They are the class that pay 55% of the tax bill in America. That's who the forgotten man is. There's no free lunch. You know, the average tax rate in America today for the middle class is 20%, federal tax rate. Think about that. That means the federal government says, we want you to give 20% of your career earnings to the government. We want you to work one day a week for the government. And we do. That is a princely sum of money, 20%. So a lot of money should be half of that, and there should be more participants. So that's who the forgotten man is. He's the guy that gets the bill. Uh, at the end of the day, he pays the lion's share of the trillions of dollars that the federal governments and the state governments want to spend and do spend every day. Aristotle made a comment once that he thought the state, in this case the country, our local governments was best served through the interests of the middle class. The middle class. We are the bread and butter earners of America. America cannot succeed without the middle class. And the middle class today exists in this country and does not exist in most countries. So the middle class is the golden goose, for sure. Must be protected must be appreciated, and should pay less in tax. Thank you for watching. Click that bell. Subscribe today to join the movement.